Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another discussion video. Today we're talking about something that was a suggestion from a buddy of mine in the comments on one of my last videos, so thank you. We are talking about why some people may find Maltese to be easier than planche, despite the fact that Maltese is the skill that is defined as the harder move. But before I get into it, I should remind you guys that Calisthenics Pro just released new parallel bars. They're very high quality, very stable. I personally am going to be switching to these. And I highly recommend that you guys do as well. The link to those are going to be in the description below and you guys can use the code barkage 10 for a discount on those. Do not sleep on those P-bars, guys. They are freaking epic. Okay, on to the discussion. Now, for me, this has always been something that has been kind of hard for me to wrap my head around because Maltese is defined as the harder skill. It requires more strength to hold and it also requires you to have more conditioning in your joints. And for my own experience, Maltese is just way harder for me. I've been training Maltese for almost three years now and there are still some days where I'm just not even able to do it. Probably like today, for example. Yee! Oh, wait, whoa. Okay, I'm pretty good. I don't know why I couldn't do that during my actual workout, but regardless of that, Maltese has always been way hard for me, so it, this has been hard for me to believe. Now, when people think about why this could be the case, the first reason that pops into a lot of people's heads, mine included until I started thinking about it for this video, is that it's balance. The balance of planche makes it harder for Maltese than some people, but here's the thing, right? I, I thought about it and I realized that I'm a horrible balancer. And most people watching my YouTube videos and Instagram know that I'm a horrible balancer. And if I can handle the balance aspect of planche, then I think that most people can too. I balance seriously is not a big deal when it comes to planche. I would say planche is seriously like 90% strength and 10% balance and it does depend a little bit on the variation that you're doing for example right if I'm to do a floor planche right here okay here we go with floor planche as you can see here I'm just leaning in and holding and I'm not and as you guys can see there in that floor planche it's really not a balanced move I just leaned in didn't really have to think about the balance and now if we take a look at this variation close grip pronated you guys are going to maybe be able to tell that I'm having a little bit harder time with the balance. And this is the thing, right? Low script variations, like the one I'm going to show you guys, iguana grip, dragon variations, these are all variations that are going to start having a higher balance factor. And to no surprise, <laughs> these are the variations of planche that I'm the worst at. So here we go. Okay, that wasn't awful, but as you guys can see, that was a lot harder for me than that and as you can see I'm thinking I'm doing a lot more thinking about what I'm doing like moving my wrist back and stuff and really trying to push so balance for planche I just don't see it here's the thing and, and balance is good the balance factor is going to increase in my opinion if you are taller and that leads into my next point because one thing that I'm noticing about a lot of these guys that are having more difficulty with planche than Maltese is that they are on the taller side for example, the only the only guy I'm going to be mentioning by name in this video is my friend Elias because one, we make fun of each other literally all the time and I know that he doesn't care if I mention him in a video. Now Elias is of course pretty tall and he's not very good at planche, but he is fantastic at Maltese. And the other thing is the guy who commented asking for this video is also on the taller side and has an easier time with Maltese than planche. And I've also seen a lot of other examples like this, but like I said, guys, not mentioning by name, even though I'm not, even though obviously I'm not talking bad. It is what it is. You just gotta be careful, guys. You really gotta be careful with these commenters sometimes. And yeah, you guys can go out, look for yourself, and you'll probably notice it too. So maybe because the, because of the fact that these guys are taller, their arms are longer, so they're farther from the ground when they planche, increasing the balance factor a little bit, and then when they're Maltese, when they're doing Maltese, they're obviously closer to the ground, so it is less of a balance factor. But even still, I don't think this is what the real thing causing this is. I think it is an issue of specificity. And if we look back at Elias's example, and I'm not too keen on the training history of Elias Page, but I do think this is what he told me. And I could be wrong about this. You Elias fanboys in the comments, you know who you are can correct me because I'm sure you know way more, <laughs> even though I'm the one that's actually friends with the guy. But yeah, so Elias, when he started, he was doing a lot of Hephaestus stuff, a lot of cross. So these two elements, right? really good for strengthening the biceps, conditioning the elbows, 
also going to hit the chest a little bit. And these are muscles that are really involved in Maltese. In planche, it's a lot more shoulders. So he's strengthening muscles that are really used in Maltese. So when he was starting out and he tried Maltese, he was able to Maltese and he couldn't even planche yet when he had Maltese for the first time because he's training moves that carry over well to Maltese. And honestly, he might have even been doing some more specific things for Maltese because I think Maltese was his favorite element for quite some time, so he's definitely working towards it as well. And also the guy who suggested the idea for the video spent a lot more time training like cross elements and stuff like that. So he's building up a lot of conditioning in his elbows and stuff. So he's stronger when he tries Maltese versus planche. At least that's what I think. I really do think it's a specificity thing. But anyway, yeah, guys, short, quick video today. Please comment below what you thought of the new format style of discussion videos. I just thought it was cool to do something not sitting down for once for one of these videos. But yeah, feel free, guys, comment below some other suggestions for discussion videos. If you guys, if I think it's a good one, then I will do it just like the idea for this video. So thank you again. Um, but yeah, guys, subscribe if you liked the video. Like the video if you did. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.